Hi guys, I've got quite a different Android phone for you today. Um, this one's called the Fairphone, and I believe it was um, I believe it started on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, one of those types. Um, the difference of this phone to most others, made by Samsung and HTC, this one is produced trying to cause the least harm to people on the planet, basically. So they try and resource everything um, responsibly and produce it responsibly. And the website is very interesting. It gives you a total breakdown of the whole cost. Um, Consumer price 325 euros. If you put shipping and tax in, I think it's about 336 euros. I'm told it's my brother's my brother's phone. Um, so I thought I'd show you it. It's it's got a variant of Android 4.2 installed on it apparently. Um, but uh, yeah, it just looks it looks quite an interesting device and community and uh, and sort of uh, theory and all that sort of thing. So I thought we'd have a look. So even the box itself is quite interesting. It's a made in China. Democratic Re Democratic Republic of Congo, Portugal, Amsterdam, and Netherlands. So it's, it's Singapore, Czech Republic, all these different places. New York, Malaysia, and Japan. All these different places uh, listed on the box. That's helping to produce this. Kind of the, uh, the box itself, it kind of feels like it's probably recycled cardboard. I would imagine. Does it tell us that? Perhaps somewhere. Maybe. So if you want to read what it says, you can. Pause that. We shall move on though. Now it does say it comes without a charger or headphones because it's better for the environment, which fair enough. Oh. As it tells us there, it uses the standard micro USB, so most people will have one laying around, especially if this is your kind of thing, I'd imagine. Fail phone. Fair phone, fail phone. Not sure what that's for. If you can't open it, you don't own it. I like it. There we go. Do you have multiple SIM cards? You can put two SIM cards in your Fairphone, which is quite good. I've got two SIM cards, so I'd quite uh, appreciate that. Chunk, do what now, hot pot? Is that actually a recipe? I believe it is. There you go, if you want to have a crack at that recipe, look. Meet our tiny friend. What? Let's look at inside your phone. Okay. So all these, all these little cards inside with some messages and explaining why the Fairphone is is so environmentally friendly. Wow, that feels quite heavy. I don't mind telling you. Fairphone first edition. That is quite heavy. Um, but you know that's not a bad thing. Um, it says it's 170 grams. So that's actually a couple of grams heavier than than my Note 3. It's interesting. So. It is quite a quite a weighty device. Um, its dimensions are 126 by 63 and a half by 10 millimeters. Um, but you know, I, I guess if your goal is environmental friendly rather than lightweight, you use whatever resources uh, are best in that respect. What's this? Take a look inside. It's, it's inviting us to take the back cover off. Now I thought, I'd seen a picture of there being a message on the inside back cover. There's nothing there on mine. This is your battery. Is it? That's, that's easy enough to come out. 2000 milliamp hour battery I believe, yep, there it says. If you have two SIM cards, yeah, so it like has instructions on the inside and everything. To store extra pictures, music, video, 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 put a micro SD card here. Although it kind of has two arrows almost. You would have thought one arrow should perhaps have pointed from there, but still, anyway, we can see that it's clearly labelled there and there for the SIM cards. Is there anything else for us to see on the inside? I don't believe so. We get a good look at the camera there. Look with the floor, oh, I don't know, the way. No? There we are. We do get a good look at the camera while we're inside. That's an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, the front facing is 1.3. Uh, 
um, see the speaker down the bottom there. So that, that feels like aluminium. We have to tuck it in at the top by the looks of it. Push it back into place. That sounded quality. Um, what else to look at? So, oh, the USB port on the top, look, next to the headphone jack. And by the looks of it, the power button on the top as well. Down the side, I'm assuming that's the volume up and volume down, if you see that. Um, I think that's down there. Looks, I guess that's the microphone. I think that's all we, we need to see. Let's go ahead and peel, peel the front off. Now, I suppose one second, let's just double check if there is anything else. This is your user guide. Whoa, whoa, surely that's not environmentally friendly. I mean, I guess it feels like it's probably, I hope, recycled paper. Uh, from supplied, and printed using soy based ink. Okay, I just find it quite surprising. I'm not, I don't think I've ever seen a phone with an instruction manual that big. Surely they could have found a better way. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I might just be a bit uh, a bit picky. Let's pop that back in. So let's, uh, let's pop that aside. I like, I like the colour. We'll keep the colour. Yeah, and all the different cards. Maybe we'll do it on the screen protector. Let's see if we can't boot this thing up there. Where is the power? Top right. So I quite like the design, it's just nice, it's um, although I suppose it strikes me as a little old fashioned perhaps, I don't know, we're all these different tones, silver, grey and white and black, um, you can see already the three buttons along, can you see that, the three buttons along the base, task switcher, home and back, and obviously the little Fairphone logo in the top corner as well, as it says, Fairphone. You're welcome, although I didn't actually buy it. Select the language. Uh, now, I know a lot of people always ask what different languages it supports, so I'm going to scroll through them for you. There we go. I hope that's, uh, I hope that's sufficient for you. Obviously, I'm going to go for English. We're going to set up Wi-Fi, so I'm going to set this up and I'm going to come back to you. Oh, look at that! There's already two, two signal indicators, which is interesting. I didn't realise you got both. I've never owned a, a dual SIM phone before. I didn't realise you got both at the same time. Very interesting. I hope you don't have one error if you only have one SIM card. The other error shown. Anyway, so I'll log into Wi-Fi and if I need to Google, and then I'll come back to you. Thus far, you wouldn't particularly notice anything different apart from this screen. Um, welcome, you hold in your hands a phone built in a way that puts social values first. But yes, it makes phone calls too! Let's show you how to use it. Go on then. Swipe from the left or the right without releasing your finger. Oh, so it's not actually wanting me to do it right now, but that's what I do. Release your finger on the top of an app. To, oh, release it on the top of an app to open it. Okay. Enjoy some peace, install Google Apps. Install Google Apps. Downloading Google Apps. Oh, did you see that for a second? Only 1,553 hours left. Luckily, that dropped down to 50 seconds. Okay, but that's how. I quite like that, that's good. I can do that either side. I can do that either side. Can I do it from the bottom? No, and obviously the notification bar at the top. So, from either side, there's my app drawer. Look, oh, okay, yeah, I like that. It's good. So let's. Uh, I'll get this installed, and I think there may be an update as well, which I'll run, and then I'll come back to you. 
I just thought I'd show you this. This has just popped up. Me having stopped the camera. Fairphone OS is requesting super user access. Remember this choice forever. So the phone comes with the root super user granted Fairphone OS. So that's quite interesting. Anyway, back shortly. So while that's just booting back up, and this will look very familiar to most of you, I would hope, if it'll focus. Just talk a little bit about the hardware. So it does 2G and 3G. There's no mention of 4G on the website. It's currently running Android 4.2.2. The processor is a quad core 1.2 gigahertz. The actual uh, chipset is named MT6589M. I'm sure we all know that one. Um, I've mentioned the dimensions. The screen is 4.3 inch and it's 960 by 540 pixels. So that's a long way obviously from from what we're now used to. Um, but at the same time, I mean, just, I don't know, look at that. I, I think the screen looks, looks very good. The blacks are nice and black. The text is very crisp. So, you know, I wouldn't worry much about um, the Pixels Print, it, it's, a, it's a plenty good enough screen. Right, so let me just log in here. And I just mentioned Pixels Print, so I've, I've looked it up, it would be, uh, it's 256 Pixels Print, which, you know, that's no slouch, go back a year or so and that would be, uh, that would be top end really, I suppose. Um, so here we are in the About phone, just to show you, 4.2.2, model number FP1, Fairphone 1, I assume, kernel version 3.4.5, and there's my build number lock V0009. Now, there is word on their website there's an update coming today to fix quite a lot of bugs. But my system apparently is up to date, so maybe it'll come later on in the day. Um, so, last used apps, most used apps. Oh, that's interesting, so there's your norm. Oh dear. Okay, we're in the camera, let's have a look at what showing us here. So we get menus along the top, we can slide back and forth. Scroll to view more capture modes. Okie dokie. Pinch to zoom. Why not? Now, I think the camera is mentioned in the bug fix that comes in today's patch, but anyway. That seemed pretty quick. Oh, yep, yeah, no, yep. Yeah. That's how that looks first glance that, that looks a pretty good picture I would suggest. Nice strong colours, good clarity around the text, Just pretty sharp, so yeah, not too bad. Different options on the side, look what's the smiley face all about. Auto capture when smile is detected. Multi-angle view image, we've got a panorama I presume. Some effects, perhaps. Do, do that not tell me what's that one? Switch to face beauty mode, HDR mode, and obviously the album. Oh, is that just regular? Is that scenery? Anyway, so let's have a look at the apps. So, for example, let's open up Google Plus. Signing in. That's Android Andy. Next. Uh, not now, thank you. I'd say that generally seems pretty fluid and smooth to me. Oh, interesting. So, because is that because Google's got Google Plus has overwritten? So I can't swipe in to bring up the uh, my my choices like that. Okay, so the clock, so your fairly standard Android clock. Oh, see, I'm going to do that quite a lot, I think. I did. I just tapped this earlier. So enjoy some peace. We become more conscious of our phones as our lives become increasingly connected. Would you like to disconnect for only a moment? So basically, I, I think that means it's going to go to airplane mode, pretty much. So we can slide and say, right, you know what, for an hour. I want to be left alone for an hour. And there it goes. I'm fine, thank you. 
Um, so last used, I don't know, do we, can we put things into most used? There is an app drawer at the top there as well. There's still no SIM card. Oh, see, I've done it again. So that's, that worries me a little bit. I suppose you get used to not going near the edges. And I find that that's a bit weird, but we can, I'm sure we can move around. Anyway, so there we go. And you can add widgets to the to the lock screen. I'm going straight into the camera. But uh, all in all, I would say that's uh, that's quite a nice phone. So it is a bit heavy, but it's nicely made. It's relatively cheap, so as I mentioned, it's about 336 euros, which is about 277 pounds. Um, would I take a Moto G over this? Mm, maybe, maybe, but then the camera on first glance, the camera looks a bit better on this. Uh, the Moto G, obviously, about half the price. But, uh, excuse me, if you are trying to be environmentally friendly and you have a social conscience and all that, all that malarkey, this uh, probably is worth taking a look at. So that's Fairphone. It's uh, it's on fair fairphone.com, I believe. Just trying to double check. Yep, fairphone.com. Um, there you go. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.